Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nat and you are watching Ms. Nat. If you're an old viewer, hello, hi, how are you? I'm really happy to have you here and if you are new, we would love you to subscribe and join our family. We draw all kind of stuff over here, painting, illustration, whatever, whatever. So we would love if you could join our family and be a part of our little family. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a few tricks and tips on what to draw when you don't know what to draw in your sketchbook. A little breakdown. And today we might have a very special guest and we might introduce you to him soon. Over here, I was having a little internet problem. My internet wasn't connecting, so I fixed it. So I'm gonna introduce you to my boyfriend today. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> hello. How are you? How are you all? Uh, say something nice to them. Give give them a compliment. They are looking About nice what? Today. That they are looking nice today. Yes. You all are looking nice today. So I want to ask you something. That uh, why do you have this sketchbook? Uh, sketchbooks are basically for practicing and drawing and they are for improving themselves but some people keep sketchbooks just to show other people that what are they drawing or they just want it to make it as a showpiece they don't practice much do you think it's a bad thing it's too bad people should do practice more and more to be better at uh, what they are doing I did I'm not draw you. this, you drew it. No, 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 this no, drawing is made no, by him, he drew it. And please rate this drawing from 1 to 10. If you want to see more drawings from him, do let them. Let me know in the comment section down below. <laughs> so what do you know about art? So I just know one thing about art that you need to draw four lines. Upper, bottom, left and right. And whatever you need to draw, you need to draw in that box. Which, which is kind of right. It is called the cube method. It is yes, a method. Yes, yes. The, the bigger artists use little small cubes to draw grid method, which I don't know how to use because I'm a freehand artist. I don't use grids. I'm a freehand artist. Did you draw this Navita with a grid? <laughs> Tell me that. No, no, I can draw Navita. He is a freehand no, no. artist as well. No, I can draw Navita very well. Freehand? Yes, free hand. Full free hand. <laughs> I can see you are drawing in a circle method, right? Yeah, it's a bit different from square method. It's the most easiest one uh, for the free hand one. And it's very simple. All you have to do is draw a circle. But I think uh, grid method is a more uh, easier way to draw something. And uh, That's because you've been taught that. I haven't been taught that. I, I, I find grid method very hard. Do you know who teach me grid method? No, I want to know. Please tell me who taught you the grid method. My mom teach me grid method and uh, she is very expert in it. I've heard she does very well. She used to draw uh, the ancient uh, Indian princesses because my mom and his mom are friends. So I know a lot about his yes, mom. His best friends. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> she teach me how to draw banana, apple, mango. And uh, which he totally forgot about <laughs> still. <laughs> now I can only draw a nobita. So your mom taught you how to draw a mango in a grid? Yes, yes, yes. Because That's some Picasso shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drawing right now? I am drawing, uh, I'm doing a figure study where randomly what you do is you go on Google and you type portraits and then you take one portrait and you practice that which is really good for your sketchbooks in your sketchbooks you should practice which a lot of people don't okay okay do you think one should practice yes practice makes a man perfect so. but what if someone just draws to show other people like they draw perfectly to show other people i think it's bad they should draw something for themselves 
yeah that should be the way but some people don't do that <clears throat> which is wrong because sketchbooks are like homework books you should practice and like do your homework to be more better in your art do you have a sketchbook yes i have three sketchbooks <laughs> you can see in the he's uh, referring to my sketchbooks as his own sketchbooks he does not have one They sketchbook are mine but uh, and uh, obviously i will show you in the next video Uh, so you're promising it. us a sketchbook tour? Yes, yes. So, what do you normally draw in your sketchbooks? That's a very good question. And now I'm going to take a huge part in it and I'm going to tell you what one should draw <coughs> in their sketchbook. Now, one should use sketchbook as a practical book to practice their weaknesses, which everyone has, don't they? Yes, yes. You agree on that? Yes. But a lot of people what a lot of people do including me I'm not a pro but a lot of people do is they draw things that pleases other so that when they go to a party or they're sitting with their friends they're like hey look look at this my sketchbook it's so pretty and look at all the pictures but it shouldn't be like that it should they should be ugly sketches beautiful sketches sketches like Navita <laughs> beautiful sketches as a beautiful sketches it's a very beautiful sketch but <clears throat> now this is the part like people judge your sketches as i'm judging he's drawing which is very good but you might be scared to be judged are you scared to be judged no no i will never be scared to be judged what if i judge you know in my video in your this video <laughs> i can see you are just showing your part yeah that is what i'm doing but, but what if i judge But what if I show you? What if I judge you, Nobita? I say it's bad. Will you stop drawing? How you will rate my Nobita? I will rate it because you never draw, so I will rate it nine uh, out of ten. Because all the people I've shown it to, because all the people I've shown it to, they don't believe that you drew it. Even his brothers don't believe it. Because no one know about that uh, I can draw very well. It's a secret. But the thing is <clears throat> you shouldn't be scared of what people will say people like me as I'm judging his drawing uh, you should just respect it and the other point I want to talk about is the stag- stagnant point now what is stagnant point is when you don't know what to draw and that's what I'm doing in this video what I did was I went on Google and I just opened a portrait and I'm not focusing on the details do you think we should focus on details in life teach them that they should not observe or take too much care about things because then what they will do is <clears throat> they won't draw they will just focus on the mistakes that oh my god i just made this wrong oh my god i made this wrong they should just draw without care without worrying about what people will say they just should draw life should be easy and chill that's my mantra his mantra is observe he's a very petty guy he is very uptight so he likes with things very articulated whereas i am uh, i'm an artist and most the artists just go by the eye so that's a very good tip but he's also right we should take care of the things we like right yes yes right <clears throat> as you do about what about anything in life <laughs> <laughs> same thing Now the next thing I want to talk about is be your own self. Everybody has their style, everybody has their own distinct style. Picasso, Da Vinci, everyone. Can you mute it down? <laughs> Or I'll be copyrighted. Everyone has their own style. Even in life, you have a very different dressing sense. I have a very different dressing sense. That's what in art should be like. That's the main main focusing thing in uh, 
art you should be your own self of course a lot of things influence you a lot of artists influence you even me when i scroll down on youtube i go down and down and i see oh my god he's such a good artist then i try to copy his work but that copying is not copying it's basically being inspired by it so what you got to do is you got to be your own self just draw what you like even if you like drawing stick figures or maybe black and white or poster colors or you draw ugly art be you do what you like don't just be scared of what people say or if there's a trend going on or if there's a style trend going on just be yourself now the next point i want to talk about which may be my last point is destroy it meaning that they i have a rule i have a rule in my sketchbook that there is no use of erasers or whiteners in my sketchbook and why is that i mean you can use it a bit but not like totally depend on it like draw a sketch and then erase it then draw the sketch and erase it you should use eraser as very minutely because it's your sketchbook you should not care about the three lines even you might see that i did not erase any underneath lines i did not even erase the circle that i drew or even the nose contour nothing because i think it adds to the beauty of what you're doing uh, as if you ever go to exam hall they say we want to see your rough work so this is the same kind of thing it's very beautiful to see the rough work beneath your art as you can see over here you can see all the strokes i made there's no neatness to it so just destroy your sketchbook and be easy with it that's the best thing you can do as a favor to yourself as you might notice in this video the drawing that i'm making right now that i'm not focusing on the details as much uh, i'm just i just took the outline of the whole portrait because if i did dive deep into the details i would have never been able to practice and that is the key just use your eyes to just outline the object and then draw as your heart takes you towards because when you get into the details uh, it kind of gets tricky and us as artists we know we have a problem of perfection because we i don't even know about other people but we don't want to let ourselves down so we just want to draw perfectly which is good and bad good and is in sense that it's a good thing that you want to improve but it's a bad thing that once we get stuck we get stuck there's no turning back so that was a few tricks and tips from me to you and a bit fun talk a bit conversation with my boyfriend and if you want to see more videos please do let me know and please do subscribe and join my family if you want to see more content i'll be uploading more good content i'm just getting started you know i took a break i had exams but i missed you all so i'm back so take care have fun and please 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 if you are watching till here comment below and take care bye bye